Hi guys, welcome to our English talk show. Today it's with real privilege that we have invited a prominent scholar and also the executive director from INET to be on our show. His name is Mr. Zhou Tao. Hi, Mr. Zhou Tao. Welcome to our Hi, talk welcome. show. welcome. It's a real privilege to have you here. How are you today? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Especially to meet you. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's my real pleasure. Could you first please introduce yourself a little bit more to your audience? Yes, I'm Tao Zhou. And I'm majoring in theoretical physics. It looks like far from our real life. But now, in recent 10 years, I tend to be a kind of data scientist and data engineer. So we are mm -hmm. basically doing two kind of things. So one is we do some, um, do some study on fundamental always about data mining and artificial intelligence. Uh -huh. And another one is we try to make some real application, large uh, scale application. Mm -hmm. from, I mean, driven by big data, but for the real, like education, like housing, or finance, and financial issues, something like that. I see. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Like the first one you mentioned, it's related to artificial intelligence, right? Yeah, Could somehow. you tell us what's the connection between big data and uh, artificial intelligence? I mean, if we look at the traditional arti artificial intelligence, yeah. It, um, how to say it depends on really depends on big data. Oh. You know that for artificial intelligence, its history is really long. It's more than half century. Oh. But privacy, artificial intelligence cannot compare with expert. The power of artificial intelligence cannot compare with real expert because mm -hmm. because it lacks big data. Mm -hmm. And maybe about ten years or um, fifteen years before, uh, uh -huh. not we collected more and more data. Yep. So we can train the model and make it more and more accurate. So and for recent a few years, in many fields, the artificial intelligence can really compare with human experts. So this is a kind of booming spring of artificial intelligence. Yeah, it's booming, growing yeah, but fast. Mm -hmm. But if, mm, if we look at future, if for the future. Mm -hmm. fu yes, in the near future, maybe 10 years or 20 years, the Artificial intelligence can be somehow mm, jump out of the data. I mean, they can it generate can data independently without data. The, yeah, they can. It can generate data by itself. So we ah, yeah. cannot need real data. So because, for example, if we look at Alpha Zero, I mean the new generation of Alpha Go. Ah, yeah. The the two artificial intelligence two players both mm, with artificial intelligence they play themselves. So yeah. we don't need a real human mm. expert. But they just computer play with computer. Yes. And now we can generate artificial images. Mm, I mean, based on some sampling, we just generate artificial ima images, not real images. Okay. And we try to recognize some patterns in the image. But we don't need real images. So this is in another way. So maybe wow. in privacy, we don't have big data. So we do not have powerful artificial intelligence. Now we have big data. And currently, data is even more important than algorithm to self. Mm -hmm. But if in the near future, maybe, maybe sometimes, maybe we don't need real data because artificial intelligence can it generate generates artificial data, data and huh? become more intelligent. Yeah, something. you know, there's some movies portrayed in this kind of uh, matter. Do you think it will bring kind of like a threat to human being? So I, I'm, I'm not sure because now, you know, it's for any kind of robot, mm -hmm. mm, they have some kind of subject. I mean, they are objective. They are objective. I mean, the attack, maybe mathematically speaking, the target function is yeah. designed by human being. Yes. So basically, the optimal and their actions, they try to find so many resources to aim at this kind of human designed target. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is so, uh, we, in this uh, stage, we are safe because we design the target for the robots. Yeah, uh, that's the stage that yeah, we are, yeah, yeah, but we are uh, now, right? Yeah, uh, uh, Mm, I can imagine some days, maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe some days mm, after, maybe they can find their own target. But I, I don't know how, I, I don't know how, <laughs> yeah. but if they can find their own target. So oh. we call it automated intelligence, UI. So I this see. kind of automated intelligence is, maybe it's uh, it can be a it's threat something <laughs> yes, we feel. Yeah. I see. As, as ordinary people, is that like some precautions we can take to, you know, get us better prepared for the ultimate artificial intelligence. Mm, maybe you know, you know that's this way. Uh, basically, for mm, normal human beings, we, are, we, we can learn something more about artificial intelligence. So mm -hmm. we, mm, may, maybe we can be more suitable or we have 
better um, somehow we can be more suitable for the next generation but you know that this mm -hmm. um, this kind of um, terrible thing are some uh, uh, not by maybe it's just uh, by a few um, very uh, how to say maybe they are unsocial or they are very strange uh, a <laughs> kind of a crazy expert or a crazy scientist a, a few just uh, maybe one or a few mm -hmm. so it's um, i can s i can't say how to control it but it's a kind of um, it's kind of like a challenge yes, we are, yes, we are yes, facing it's a kind of challenge we you know that we mm -hmm. forbidden something by some um, so many rules in the uh, scientific community. We have so many rules which uh -huh. fields we can touch, which we cannot. For example, for yeah. green science or for gene science. But yeah. every time we always they have a few scientists, a crazy scientists. So we they can touch those uh, sensitive yeah, yes, areas. Yes, oh, yes. Those areas may create yes, maybe like mean, ethical I mean, problems. Yeah, yeah. yeah ah. Ethical problems. But we cannot just by some ethical rules. We, they just want to do their own things we can. It's <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, thank you. You know, and also, um, I once, speaking of data, I once heard of a um, statement yeah. about it. He says, data is the new oil. Yeah, yeah, somehow. Do you agree with that and why? I'm not sure if it's a uh, new oil because oil, even new, it can be burned out. It can use up. Infinity, yeah. yes. But yeah. mm, data is not limited. So data is a kind of oil. but. You know that data we can we share for more mm -hmm. we can earn more we can have more we have more so I data see. is a kind of new oil but not oil a new resource this kind of resource can be copied for many mm, copies okay, mm -hmm. but even even more even more valuable so I see like you just mentioned we give our data and we use data so actually um, I think this related to data literacy. So do you think data literacy is uh, important for you know like our ordinary people to have in order to make sense of the massive data out there? You mean private? Some um, kind of mm, to protect the private information or something? Uh, that's related. Uh, but data literacy is more related to understanding the data, how we can make use of the data. Sometimes, you know, for example, like take e-commerce, for example, when you buy things on, on, yeah. on online, yeah. you get lots of data and also recommendations from the website yeah. okay, what things you buy but you need to have a clear mind idea to tell what data are real yeah. what data are not for example in the source of data some people may fake it yeah. then it will lead to the wrong outcome of the result yeah. right so do we need to have this kind of uh, ability to tell the difference it's it's a kind of so and um, first of all the data is at the first place it's a casting Data is a cost. So at the first place, it's cost because you need to store storage the data. Yeah. You need mm -hmm. to analyze the data. So yeah. if you cannot make money or make uh, other values from the data, you, you, you just have some costly things. Okay, garbage. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> garbage. Even, <laughs> even worse than garbage. So, okay. so this is a no first use at all. Yeah. The first, the first is ability no use. is mm. we 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 have the ability to mine the value um, from the data uh -huh. and we can analyze. Analysis the data to so refine the data. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, one thing. And mm -hmm. for example, if you you're talking about the e-commerce um, commerce website, we yep. mm -hmm. we need to build up a kind of red recommender system. So we do yep. recommendations. Um, yep. Analyze the personal re personal history records yep. about your purchase history. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we try to dig out your personal interest and to make make some recommendation about product to you. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of um, machine learning always. Yeah, and another one is you, you mentioned so we we have to make us to be robust to spawning because you mm -hmm. know that so of course in the real world we have artificial data and we have some fake data. Yeah, but sometimes the fake data is mm, from a natural way, but sometimes it's made by some human purpose. For example, yep. if we in the e-commerce mm, commercial website we want to make some benefit. Yeah, so we. We pay some people to, yeah, give, to give the right to reviews or good data. reviews uh, on some so products. There. A mm -hmm. good algorithm itself, yep. the, it is robust. So when we design the algorithm, we have a part of uh, a model mm -hmm. to try to detect the spam, spammers. So this mm. is a necessary part. If you, do yeah. if you do not have this kind of necessary part, you will, be, you will have a um, garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> so yes, yeah. indeed, indeed. I totally agree with you. And then, um, also, because you have to, in order to enjoy the 
benefits of public goods, the yeah, result of yeah, the big data. Yeah. You have to give out your own data. Yeah. Then this leads to giving out your privacy, privacy right? yeah. So what do you think of the trade-off between your privacy and the public yeah. goods? Okay, it's, <laughs> it's a good question, but you know that sometimes in, mm, for mm, normal person, because we look at this kind of TV or media or something, we, we see, okay, so many big companies, they steal our private information to make money, we feel it, but, but yeah. it's actually it's not, because uh, it's some not. sometimes we give our private information and it's it is very good for the development of the industry. So this ah. is uh, somehow good for your country or your society. And in another way, you will enjoy better service. So it's a kind of trade-off. But you know, mm -hmm. I have some issues. First of all, is mm, mm, for, for us individual a, as an individual. So we do not have uh, mm, any ability to protect our private information. We do not have. We and don't? you never have because oh really? okay. sometimes you go you go through the street. Oh, the camera look at I it, see okay. the sensors, <laughs> cameras, <laughs> the sensors camera everywhere. And There's no way for you to hide. You are some iPhone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, indeed. And indeed. if you type type in the computer, even they can record your type servers. Okay, so, oh, so typing servers. So yes, indeed. Anyway, you don't have them. so basically we we have private information, but we do not have the ability. To and you, you, you do not try to have ability, you, you cannot. You cannot have the ability to pro mm. protect your private information. Really well. I okay, have two suggestions. The one, okay, what is the like? suggestion number one is <coughs> you need to distinguish which one is really, 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 really important. For example, if you have some making love, love, love picture with your girlfriend <laughs> or somehow, <laughs> try not to save it in the internet. Okay. okay, or in your don't computer. Don't store it on, on the cloud. Yes, okay, yes. You that's just one make way it separate from the internet. Okay, mm -hmm, just mm, stay away from or internet. Or something very important like your um, back account or something. Okay, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. make sure this is really, really, really important. Try to save in some on internet. Mm. In a conventional, yeah. traditional yeah, way. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. And the second one is we need to have some. Mm, some rules, some strict rules to yep. punish the companies who use your information, but they do not tell you. They use your mm -hmm. information, make their own benefit without relation to you. So yeah. this kind of company, they do hurt you. And yep. we punish this kind of companies to protect you, yeah. and not teach you how to protect yourself because you cannot. I see. Okay, so this is my. But that kind of uh, law or term is not there yet, right? We need people we to really. We do have a kind of. We do law. have that now. I mean, in China, in the Chinese government, we we launched a law in the uh, uh, Children's Day in the uh, oh, last year. And last year, Children's Day, we okay. have a kind of law. But you know that so it's technique is more. Is p more powerful than the law <laughs> <laughs> because you, you know that we we need to use some high mm, highly advanced technique to make the law feasible, feasible and to yeah, find to be find the bad better people, applied. So ah, yeah. I see, I see. So there's a lot of um, issues behind it. How yeah, we can yeah. apply the the, the, exactly, the law? Exactly. I see. Well, well, that's really interesting. I interesting point here. And uh, uh, an another thing related to this is sometimes um, I think. Um, the pref the reviewed preferences sometimes is different from stated preferences from a person. For for example, like you mentioned, when we're typing on yeah, yeah, on, yeah. on the computer, okay, search yeah. something, yeah. that the, the data is already there, right? Yeah. Some person may say, you know, I'm into music. I love yeah. music so much, especially yeah. classic music. Yeah. But maybe the data behind, for example, the collected by the by the internet company, yeah. they reviews you spend most time on internet typing in something not music related or not yeah. classical music yeah. related it can be maybe like games yeah. then the reviewed version is different from what you said when this happens when there's difference happens which one do you think is more accurate i mean uh, i mean you know that this where our requ requirement is somehow some requirement is we see immediate requirement that means we mm -hmm. we need it right now for example we want to find the address of this uh, mm, this hotel so uh -huh, uh -huh. i want to find this immediately so this is uh, immediately requirement and anyway, mm -hmm. this kind of things i mean so such engine should be returned to your keywords mm -hmm. or um, queries just uh, as um, just as what you require okay so okay. this is a one thing another thing is what we call it's a hidden requirement hidden, hidden. requirement it's mm -hmm. hidden mm -hmm. it's like 
what we need, for example, if we look at this recommender system, mm -hmm. what we call personal recommendation, yep. we, mm, maybe mm, I will recommend you some, mu some music or some movies. Maybe you do not know it yet. Yes, yep. yes it's yeah. very um, niche movie or it's unpopular <laughs> movie. But if look, you look, in, look at the movie, you will like it. So this is a kind of a hidden requirement. You don't know. You cannot oh. type it. You, you maybe you, even you cannot make it like some queries. You, you don't know. But I recommend that you based on your privacy, um, your, your search your history. history records. Yeah. Oh, For example, yeah, yeah. if you if you have already watched a few or several movies, mm -hmm. and we look at some someone some other people, they have watched uh, similar movies with you, and uh -huh. they are they like some other movie, and I recommend this movie too. This is what we call collaborative filtering. So oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Really, yeah. really. Because sometimes, sometimes, really, mm -hmm. your own history surprise yeah. yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah really, it exactly, happened exactly, before, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, yeah, there are some history showing that, yeah. that, 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 like, oh, in the past year, how many songs, or what songs you have listened to, yeah. which ones were like on the on the top three? Sometimes you surprise yourself yeah. in this way. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Because the uh, computer have al almost uh, infinity memory. And yeah. we have just a very thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the way more <laughs> advanced <laughs> than us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, another thing is uh, uh, also related to data right. Do you think we, as human, we have the data right? Yeah, I, I yeah. think so. Yeah. We shall we 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 shall have the same to say when we would like to give out our data when we want to take away from take away our own data. Yeah. Yes. Mm, somehow it's uh, a kind of similar to the what we I mention with you um, to you this private mm. information so yeah uh, basically we we have this kind of right we should have but yeah. um, actually we do not because yeah. um, when we say the um, right or some kind of um, our private uh, right on the data or on the information it's based on somehow like we have the information ability yeah. and we have the technique but we do not so uh, yeah. another one is like um, I show one example. For example, mm, as I mentioned to you, this yeah. the computer have infinity memory. Yeah. Maybe we should say, when I show you my data, okay. For example, I go to back, I bo mm, bo mm, borrow some money or so, oh, something. Yeah. Okay. I I need this data have a kind of um, valid period like ten years. Maybe yeah. this, uh, some behavior ten years ago. Or even, uh, yeah. You need to cancel it. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yes, it's it's like if, if, if the history yeah. kind of yes, reveals yes, a yes, negative yes. part of you, yeah, then you yeah. don't want that to be there Especially forever. Especially negative, yes, <laughs> because <laughs> uh, we, we can change ourselves and maybe, but if the, the computer do not see, the computer just analyzes your, all your yeah, history. Yeah. But some history, for example, if, you, if I buy something from the e-commerce website for my XX girl, yeah. girlfriend, yeah. You don't want uh, your current yes, girlfriend to yes, find yes. out. <laughs> because th you, you don't need to recommend to my girlfriend <laughs> because this is the XX girlfriend. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. they do not forgot it. Is so there a way that we can you know, file yes. such a um, you know, request uh, to yes. get it done? It's, it's not easy. It's not <laughs> easy because the company just uh, uh, aim at uh, benefits. You do not aim at all right. So somehow it's not easy. Sudden change of the setting. Um, no worries, let's continue with our conversation. Uh, Mr. Zhou, can you give us some specific examples how data, big data, is fundamentally changing the way we used to do things? Okay, maybe it's uh, actually one example about education because I'm mm -hmm. from the university, so yeah, I'm we'd love to hear that. familiar with into the education. Before we know, we, have, we are having the big data, I mean, the data about the students, mm, the behavior of students. So mm -hmm. we we usually we know students just m like normally half a year when they take the exams, take the examinations. Mm -hmm. So we know the performance. Okay. Yeah. So but you know that this uh, mm, when we have the cameras and the smart car. I mean, Capos smart car. I mean, everybody have this smart car. Smart oh, car. Okay. So if if you, you if you are in the university, so you um, having showers uh -huh. and you are um, having dinner, lunch, mm -hmm. or you. Um, or you are go into or go out of your apartment, or mm. go, go to this library, no, or your are finishing recorded. waters in mm -hmm. teaching building, e everything, almost you are using this kind of smart car. Mm -hmm. okay, because this smart car is uh, identification of you, and mm -hmm. as well as it's a kind of per charge. Okay, you per charge by this car. Yeah. So now we have so much data from this smart car. It's basically the, all your capos living life is recorded in this car. 
I see. Okay, so mm -hmm. now we we tr we are we have already built a model. This model is about mm -hmm. to predict your examination performance to predict. I see. Okay. So and before, before the exams, you yes. the student will have and a general idea how yeah. good the student is. Okay, yes. Yeah. We, we use three different data. Uh -huh. One is about your private performance. Okay, your private examination, your private private examination. Okay. okay. The second one is what we call diligence index. I mean, diligence is we... Diligence. Diligence, yes. Uh -huh. we, we try to ex estimate how many hours you have spent on study. How many uh, hours? In the class or in the library? Yeah, right? in, it's in, in how long you are in the library, mm -hmm. how many times you're finishing waters, uh -huh. you are finishing water in the teaching building, yep. how many books you borrowed from the library, how mm -hmm. many courses you selected in, in this yep. um, system, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is one index. And we found a very strong correlation between the legends and uh, between its um, GPA Performance mm -hmm. GPA, okay. And the second, the third one is what we call ordinance. Ordinance means that's your uh, living style. For example, yeah. we look at uh, you, mm, which time you are taking shower, taking <laughs> shower, wow, yeah, like this one. Yeah, do you do okay, that regularly so or not? Yeah, and uh, which time you have breakfast, or you, whether or not you have breakfast, and which time you have lunch or something, mm -hmm. okay. So we look at your mm, tracks in the university, mm -hmm. and we see, if so, someone, we look at the distribution in, in this 24 hours, you are, for example, the, f the time you're taking shower. And so we can distinguish which one is uh, living in order, which one is not. So we oh. found that so orderness is also strongly correlated with GPA. So oh. putting this, these three groups of index together, like your private performance, your mm -hmm. um, diligence, your mm -hmm. orderness, so we mm -hmm. can highly accurately predict your course, ah. I mean, your examination performance. And if we predict, you will fail for many courses. You will at least you will fail one or two courses. So this I is see. like we, we can do some kind of intervention in advance of your mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. real examination. Because, for example, if I am mm, I like this internet game, or yeah. like Wang Zerong or something, okay. <laughs> so we are really, really, really like it. So. And if from, mm, from a good student with mm -hmm. excellent performance to the one with so many course field, mm -hmm. this normally they are one year or one and a half year. So, so if you found uh, in, he's already have so many course field, it's already, I mean, we, we have nothing yeah. to do it because it's heavily. It's, it's already too late, uh, beyond uh, pure. Yes, <laughs> so, but, but the behavior change is immediately. For example, yeah. if mm -hmm. last month you go to library for 24 times, mm -hmm. but this month is just three times or two times. Ah, the well, intervention has to happen. sharply yeah. change in behavior, so yeah. even m long, long before your examination. So this ah. can make us do some kind of intervention. Okay, Will that so increase the, like, the workload for, for teachers, for the um, supervisors? It's okay because all the information is um, because this is a kind of a private information, so we yeah. do not know who's who. Uh -huh. Only if you touch or you e mm, exceed some kind of switchhood, okay. some kind it's of like a long go off. switchhood, so uh -huh. we can send this kind of information automatically to your mm, teacher, to the teacher. Okay? I see. Mm, I see. For one teacher, it's about one hundred and fifteen students you organize. So Ah. So if you if you are a student there, yeah, yeah, be careful with what you do. Yeah, and yeah, what yes. even some what you say, right? Because we those things will be recorded. Yeah, uh -huh. we have some volunteers. It's almost a half of the university students are volunteers. Mm -hmm. They share their data, and Good. and if they have some really um, behavior change, so their teacher will know. We know. They yeah, will at that something. critical moment, right? Yeah. When it's time to intervene, yeah. right? Interfere with it with really with improve data. their performance. And uh, I, I mean, it's and in particular reduce the uh, furniture. I see. The, the, the data shows the, the high yeah. accuracy, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good, good. Well, and also, is uh, an another, another so thing is, is healthy yeah. body, healthy mind, right? What? Yeah, healthy body, healthy mind. Yeah, so, something so like that. Yeah. Diligence is just part of your performance, right? Yeah. And you still have to have a healthy life, right? Yeah. To eat regularly, exer and and you can do some exercise regularly. And good self control. Have it's those two balance, mm. then that can, you can be qualified as a good student. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And my last question, uh, what do you think, who is the ultimate beneficiary of uh, big data? Mm, at the first place, I think is because this kind of mm, big data and artificial intelligence, 
And basically, I mean, most people will enjoy mm -hmm. the yeah. benefit, be in particular for this our health. Mm -hmm. uh, because mm, now using this kind of artificial intelligence and really big data in in health in medicine science is really big, really big. Uh, yeah. Our genes express uh, the expression of our genes and so much. So we can do some drug target analysis to find uh -huh. um, the the target of the disease and uh -huh. to design new drugs. And so and this. Mm, our expectation is like, f for example, like us, yep. maybe we are now is uh, between 13 years old and 14 years old. Yep. The expectation life is more than 120 years for our generation. Life expectation, and even more. really? No, even oh, more. So we can I all get for longevity in the, f in the, in the yes, future. So <laughs> maybe so compare with our parents, yep. maybe compare with our parents, our remaining life is longer than them. Um, I'm Usually. sure. Compare with that uh, means compare with the zero, um, per, um, the the people with zero age. Okay, people with zero age. So now the expected life in in China is about uh, seventy one. Seventy one. Okay. Is the average. Li mm, average. Oh, life lifespan. Okay. Life yeah. But for us, it's more than one hundred years. So it's I mean that's wow. So this generation that's maybe, good news. Really good news. Yeah, maybe mm. this generation or the next generation. I hope this generation. Yeah, yeah. We will finally overcome this kind of uh, this. So this is our target. So um, try try to uh, live in forever if possible. Yeah, we <laughs> so love to become immortal. So and uh, yeah. like you mentioned, our our life expectancy can be like one hundred twenty years old. Then. A middle life crisis will come yeah. when you're 60, 60 years 60 old. So, so yes, now yes, we are so still we so are young. Ch child, yes, <laughs> we are child, so it's okay. <laughs> wow, that's really yeah. huge. Yeah, really huge. Good, good news for us. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. You know, you're yeah. the first uh, Chinese um, guest on our English talk show. Thank oh. you so much for the cooperation thank you, thank you and so sharing all those valuable things with us. We sincerely wish you all the best. Thank you.